So for our lesson today, we are still in our series, the Godly Play series, where we're thinking about the ways that Jesus made himself known to his followers in a new way after the resurrection. Um, they had known him as a teacher and as a friend and as someone who did miracles. Um, but after the resurrection, they realized there was so much more to know about Jesus. Um, and one of the amazing things is that Jesus kept reaching out to his followers so that they would understand who he really was more and more. So this is just our review. This is the picture of the women coming to the tomb, the tomb that was empty. Jesus's body was not there. So they knew Jesus in a new way because of his absence from that place. He was gone. His body was gone because he had been resurrected. This was our picture from last week when Jesus was walking with his followers along the road and he opened the scriptures to them, but it wasn't, they didn't recognize him until he broke bread with them. And they remembered that Jesus said that his body would be broken for them. All of a sudden they knew that the stranger that had told them all, that had helped them understand all of the scriptures was Jesus himself. This, this is the story for this week. We remember how one night in Jerusalem, the disciples gathered into a room and the doors were shut. They were afraid. They were afraid that the crowds and the soldiers that had crucified Jesus would come and get them too. And then as they were gathered in the room, they heard a voice. The voice said, peace be with you. They looked. And it was Jesus. At first they thought maybe he was a ghost. But then Jesus talked with them. They saw Jesus' wounds on his hands. They saw the wounds on his feet. He even ate a piece of fish so that they knew it was really Jesus. And he was alive. He wasn't a ghost. Then he said, peace be with you again, and was gone. Now one of the disciples was not in the room at that time. His name was Thomas. And when the other followers told Thomas that Jesus had visited them in this closed room, Thomas would not believe them. He was full of sorrow and doubt and I think sadness. He had seen his friend Jesus on the cross and he wasn't ready to believe yet that Jesus wasn't dead. Thomas said, I won't believe until I can touch his wounds myself. Thomas's doubt was understandable. All the things that had happened, this was stretching, stretching their minds. 
they didn't know what to think of all the ways that Jesus was reaching out to them. Eight days passed. The disciples again gathered in the room with the doors shut. This time, Thomas was there. A voice said, peace be with you. And it was he. This time, Jesus went right up to Thomas and he held out his hand. He said to Thomas, touch me. Thomas was amazed and fell on his knees. My Lord and my God, he said. Jesus looked at him. And when Jesus looks at you, he can see all of you. And Jesus said, do you believe because you have seen? Then he looked slowly around the whole circle. And he said, Blessed are those who have not seen, yet still believe. Just like last week, when you're thinking about this lesson, if you would like to find something from your house to show during our phone call, I would love to see it. It could be a picture that you drew, you could be thinking about Jesus's hands, or you could be thinking about what it might feel like if Jesus was looking right at you. You could pick anything that you might like to show us to help to tell this story. Thanks for thinking about this with us.